incredible. Enjoyed it a lot. We just came, just gonna go up to Idaho Springs, then Leadville, and down through the mountains that way. How was that mountain pass? Hey, we love Leadville. This place is awesome. What'd you think of Wolf Creek Pass? All right, so we're stopping at Pagosa Springs for the night. Had a couple beers at the Riff Raff Brewery, belong there. And uh, we're staying at this real janky quality <laughs> inn. <laughs> What's going on, world? My name's Charlie, welcome back. This is my dad. We're about to head to Four Corners Motorcycle Rally. It's a hot 90 something degrees. Stay tuned. Stop number one, Wyoming border. Dad had to put his helmet on. Alright, day two, we made it to Fort Collins last night. We're about to go get some breakfast. It's a little past six in the morning. Oh, we woke up. Five something. Ah, we're going to Snooze AM Eatery in Fort Collins. Have you ever eaten there? Great food. We'll see you there. How was the ride yesterday? Ah, oh, incredible. Enjoyed it a lot. A little hot, a little windy. Yeah, but you know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. After Lusk, Wyoming, uh, it really started getting enjoyable. All right, here we are. The Snooze AM Eatery. Say hello. Just came, just came in from South Dakota. What'd you get? Sweet potato smash up. And eggs. Want some more coffee in here, sir, please? Here it is. Thank you. You wanna go in? Yeah. So we stopped at Big Papa Bucks over here. We decided that breakfast, we're gonna go up to Idaho Springs, then Leadville, and down through the mountains that way. So let's go inside real quick. You guys have never been to a Bucky's. This is mostly started in Texas, southern thing, right? But first one in Colorado. When this just opened, it was almost shoulder to shoulder in this little place. It's crazy. And what's, what's fascinating about this place is people flock here. They'll be carrying carts full of Bucky goods, Bucky toys, Bucky candies, everything Bucky's. It's a cool place, man. All right, so you guys are riding and it's super hot outside. Keep a camel back on you. 
And then when you stop, you can get some ice in it and then fill up at the gas stations. And then you have cool water on you. Man, how, how you feeling? <laughs> you ready for day two? Oh, hell yeah. Let's, Let's go. do it. I want to say thank you to my dad, who is 74 years old, and just decided to go on a multiple state, 2,000 mile motorcycle trip with me. He didn't hesitate when I told him to hop on his trike and to follow me to the Four Corners Motorcycle Rally for 2024. And I cannot understate that this was one of the most impactful trips of my life. Spending this time with my dad and riding these miles together, I understood every second how lucky I was, how lucky I am. Not to just have a dad, but to have an amazing dad. To have an amazing dad that's still alive while I'm 35 and he's 74. Many people do not get this luxury. And even if they have a dad who's still alive, they are not in the same type of health. My 74-year-old father packed up an air mattress and a tent, and we rogue camped behind the Durango Harley-Davidson. Stay tuned for the next episode.
How's the ride been, man? How was that mountain pass? Weather's been phenomenal. It's probably like, I don't know, maybe 70 degrees right now. So it's chilly while we're riding. We came by this picturesque mountain range and lake. We just had to take some photos. Hey, we love Leadville. This place is awesome.
My dad's a 30-year Marine. He's been all over the world and he's done all sorts of things. And as often as he could, he would pull next to me and ride like we were two birds flying right next to each other. And to be able to look over at him and see him smiling like it was the best thing he had ever done. Shout out to GQ, man. I watched your video about losing your mom and traveling across the country with the shirt that had her printed on it. And I couldn't help but think about you while I was on this trip with my dad. I want to say I love you, dad. And I'm glad we had this time together. And I hope we have more. What did you think of Wolf Creek Pass? All right, so we're stopping in Pagosa Springs for the night. Had a couple beers at the Riff Raff Brewery, belong there. And uh, we're staying at this real janky quality <laughs> inn. <laughs> Yeah. 